Suppose you've taken several photos in the same lighting conditions and you want to apply the same corrections to all of them. Or you've made some creative edits to one photo and then want to apply the same settings to another photo later. You can apply the same settings to multiple photos easily in the Camera Raw Editor in Photoshop Elements. Hi, I'm Karen Brockney and in this video I'll show you how to apply the same settings to multiple images in the Camera Raw Editor. This video is part of a series on the Camera Raw Editor and Photoshop Elements. If you missed the other videos, visit my channel to watch them. In future videos, we'll cover other features of this editor, but if you like this video, click like and subscribe to my channel to see more. Let's open several images in the Camera Raw Editor. From the File menu, let's choose Open in Camera Raw. I chose Open in Camera Raw because I want to select both Camera Raw files and JPEG files for this lesson. I have some photos of Nubble Lighthouse in Maine and some photos of tulips I want to use. I'm going to click the first photo and then press Shift and click the last photo in this range of photos to choose and then click Open. In the Camera Raw Editor, the files appear in the film strip to the left of the main window. These photos of Nubble Light in York, Maine were all taken on the same cloudy day and I want to make some edits to this first photo that I could also apply to all of the other photos. So in the film strip, I'm clicking to select the first photo. Then I will press Shift and click to select all of the other photos. Suppose I only wanted to apply the edits to just one single other photo. I could press Shift and then press Control plus click or Command plus click to select the other photo that I want to use. But for now, I'll press click and then press Shift plus click to select all of the photos. In the basic panel, I'm going to choose the Adobe Landscape Profile. And I'm going to just bump up the exposure a little bit. Let's bump up the contrast a little bit. Let's bring the highlights down and the shadows up. The white's a little whiter and the black's a little blacker. And then pump up the clarity. If we see what this looked like before or after, you can press P to see the before and the after. Notice some of the values for each of these settings. Exposure is up 25. Our profile is Adobe Landscape. Our clarity is up 32. If I open the other photos, you'll see that they have the exact same settings as the first photo. The edits that I made to the first photo have been applied to all these other photos. I can then go in and tweak these further to enhance the particular image that I have open. Let's work with these tulips. For this first tulip, I'm going to keep the color profile and I'm going to use auto toning on it. And then I'll go into detail and bring up the sharpening to around 70. For the second tulip, I'm going to go back to the basic panel and I'm going to apply a specific profile to it. Let's choose the Artistic 4 profile and then let's bring up the contrast quite a bit. Then I'll go to the third tulip and I'm just going to bring the exposure down a bit, bring the contrast up, bring the whites up and the blacks down and do a lot of clarity. Now when I get to the last tulip, I think that I might like to apply the same settings that I did to this previous tulip, this previous yellow tulip. So I'm going to select the image whose settings I want to copy. And then I will press Control and click or Command and click to select the second image. This first image 
already has settings applied. The second image does not yet. If you look over here in the basic panel, you'll see that there are some fields that appear blank, and those are fields that we used in the first image, but not the second one. If you click the menu next to basic at the top of the panel, you can click on previous conversion, and then go back and click on custom settings to apply the same settings of the first file to the second file. If I look at the second file now, you'll see it has the exact same settings as the first file. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Leave me a comment in the comments below, and I hope to see you again.